Okay, this just came in about Northeast Scotland here. Uh, I guess it's yesterday now, 14th of May. I'll try to get that, this out soon. Uh, ancient Taff O'Nock Hill Fort in Aberdeenshire, one of the largest ever. And here's a shot of it from a distance. And you can see that they've made an artificial hill here. And then this capsule shaped area that's in there. And people say this thing is huge and describe it as you could put a soccer stadium in it and uh, type of thing and something else to notice here whenever you look at it is that there's this hill uh, type of wall shown all right through here and around and it runs off around that corner and then we see this right here, but that looks like cars have been driving up there and stuff. And it's got a rut type thing that they had to take that journey at an angle to come up around over here or something. I mean, you'd think they'd just come this way, but maybe there was the wall. I'm not sure. Um, but as more comes in on, on this, I'll let you know. The next picture that they show looks like it may be the group working right here or something. And what I'm real interested in of, after looking at the picture is the three mounds, one two, three in a row that's right here. This is overlooking a city that must be that right there called Rhiney. And so it's up near Orkney and uh, Shetland and Northeast Scotland here. And the University of Aberdeen has been hooked up to it. It's called Taponoth. Makes me think of Top of the North. But uh, Tit of the North here is what it is. A hill fort in Aberdeenshire is one of the largest ancient settlements ever discovered in Scotland, researchers have said. The University of Aberdeenshire archaeologists say 4,000 people may have lived in more than 800 huts perched high on the top of north near the Rhiney. Many had thought it dated from the Bronze or Iron Age. The team said carbon dating suggested it was likely to be Pictish dating back as far as the 3rd century AD. They believe at its height it may have rivaled the largest known post-Roman settlements in Europe. Archaeologists from the University have conducted extensive fieldwork in the surrounding area since 2011. Professor Gordon Noble, who led the research, described the discovery that activity at the site extended into the Pictish period as the most surprising of his career. Here they are working on part of the site, and it, it, they're not even up on the mound. They're way down here below it, and I don't see the portion of the wall or anything here, but that kind of looks like where I pointed out is where they may be, and there's settlements all around this thing that, you know, like they say 800 little clusters in here, so this could be over 4,000 people easily, and apparently some of it's partially built out of wood, part of stone, and if they were to figure in the fact that some of these people maybe didn't even have stone buildings and so on as they came together, it'd be a lot more. Here you can see a forest and things in the distance, so it looks to be looking at that corner. We don't see these um, wind tower type looking things in the other view, so this must be on the side I was talking about. I'm thinking, could be wrong. He says, I was absolutely stunned when we read the results. Truly mind-blowing. We took samples from the site really just to begin placing the important discoveries we have made at Rhiney over the last few years in a broader geographical context. The results of the dating were simply incredible. The Top of North discovery shakes the narrative of this whole time period. If each of the huts were identified had four or five people living in them, then that means there's a population of upwards of 4,000 people living on the hill. It could, of course, grow. He also said it's truly mind-blowing and demonstrates just how much we still have to learn about settlement around the time that early kingdoms of Pictland were being consolidated. Aberdeenshire Council leader Jim Gifford said this site of historic importance will be of huge significance and he says I'm hopeful that once restrictions start to be lifted and of course when it's safe to do so visitors from far and wide will flock to Aberdeenshire to explore this find. And I'm sure they will, and uh, hopefully that seems to be happening right now and everything. People should be able to, and 
you don't have to worry about. You know, people that are infected should really, shouldn't have to go through a freaking out germaphobe situation. They're going to freak out. They're going to make people freak out and turn into germaphobes is what it is. But looking at this site again, and they're talking about 800 little clustered sets that are all around, apparently, inside of this walled area. Uh, maybe even go out here further than that, and it seems to be pseudo buried and everything. And you think of Gobekli Tepe again, not that this dates back 10,000 BC, but it could easily go back older than what they've said. For people's original thought on it, is that it may be back as far as the Bronze Age and uh, could be Iron Age, it could be this, could be that. One indication of that was that the stoneworks looked like it's chipped off stonework for something and one of the guys said, and I don't know if he's even hooked up with it, that this stonework, there's two kinds here and that one of them at least he talked about said that it was from kilometers away and so wondered why they were going to a place here that they would use as a quarry just to come and drag it all the way here to make the mound and set it up like this and by two kinds it didn't declamate whether there was a little nipple mound someplace over here and they chopped it all down and made it the other half of it or what the other half was so I'm interested in this off in the distance though here and what goes on there there's one site that's up near here in northeast Scotland somebody a few years ago said lays out like Orion and it even has the foot and the head and then everything uh, laying out not just the belt and that it's uh, the reason people were scoffing at it was because it's slightly off scale his hips are apparently twisted and that also a couple of the sites don't they don't die all at the same time so it wouldn't make sense that they would have been built in that uh, you know, way but then again there's questions on dating of the sites and stuff and we aren't talking about that vast of a difference but I haven't been able to find it, and once I do, I'll, I'll take a look at it. It's one of those fringe ideas that I had in a box, but I can't even find the link right now. Anyhow, guys, when more comes out on this, I'll be sure to let you know. Take it easy. Peace.